Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, welcome. My name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share a really quick and easy design. I'm actually just going to show you the design that I did on my thumb because that was the most complex together with the ring finger which has the exact same pattern or at least kind of like drag marble design. And I added a bunch of different butterfly stickers which I love. I actually got these from aliexpress so if you do want to check out some really inexpensive nail art goodies i would highly suggest to just go out to aliexpress and just buy a bunch for like a couple of dollars or euros because it's really inexpensive but first of all here are my naked nails and of course if you are new to my channel please subscribe to it i really appreciate it if you would help me achieve my yearly goal but yeah here are some of the stickers that i am going to use in this particular video or at least for this design there are so many gorgeous ones i really really love it and if you would like a link to where i got these sheets do let me know in the comment section down below and i will try to look them up for you but the gel polishes that I'm going to use for this particular design are by the Uncovered 6 collection. So we have Lavender Grey and Laced Cream. Then I also have one from the Miami Vibe collection and another beautiful pink one, which you just saw the name of. But first of all, I'm going to start off with a base coat. I am going to apply a Madame Glam base coat. Those gel polishes only have to cure for 30 seconds. If you compare that to Pink Jellock, those need to cure for a full minute. So that's pretty much the only difference. And I do feel like Pink Jellock is like really long lasting and sometimes a little bit harder to remove in my opinion. I usually just file off the top coat and then like soak it off with some acetone for like 10 minutes. But I do feel like Pink Jellock needs like 15 to 20 minutes to soak off. Um, it's a bit of a harder gel in my opinion or at least... That's how I feel about it. Like the polishes are amazing. They last really long, but your nails uh, tend to get a little bit harder, which is a good thing if you have very flexible nails. Um, Pink Jellock is the brand for you. So yeah, I'm just going to start off with that laced cream color. And I have to mention, I was so shaky when I recorded this video. I think that was because I was on a lot of coffee that day. And usually I don't drink coffee. I only drink it like... I think it's a lot if I drink coffee once a week, like one cup. And I think I had two that morning when I recorded this video. So yeah, I'm shaking quite a bit and I have to mention that I do get the shakes every now and then if I am kind of like stressed out or if my blood sugar is quite low. So yeah, I do get the shakes every now and then, but that's just a little disclaimer that I wanted to mention. So yeah, I do remember having a lot of coffee that morning while recording this. So yeah, mm, sorry about that. But after you have cured that first layer, I am going to apply a little bit of the other three colors to one of my resin plates. Just to let it sit for a little bit because I'm going to use those colors to kind of like drag marble and just make it a really cute, fun and unique design. So here you can see the purple that I'm going to use is actually a really, really gorgeous one. And yeah, I just pretty much love it. It's one of those like beautiful medium purple colors. And the happy pink color that I'm showing you right here is a really gorgeous one as well. I'm actually wearing it on my nails now recording this voiceover. I have pre-recorded this video. That is also the reason why you can still see my really long nails on my right hand and my nails on my uh, or on my left hand and the right hand nails are still a little bit shorter. Like at the moment they're like double the length already, <laughs> thankfully, because I really wanted to grow my long natural nails back really soon. And yeah, you know the story. I broke like a couple of my nails or at least had some tears in it and I just kind them all short and after that i was missing my long nails so much that i just added a little bit more oil on a daily basis and just hoped and prayed that my long nails would be back soon they are quite on track i have to mention they're not like super long like they used to be yet 
but I'm not disappointed. But yeah, after that first layer of that creamy color has cured, you want to go in with the second layer and you are going to apply the three other colors, kind of like marbly, just squiggle it on <laughs> in a random pattern. It doesn't really matter because this will be a really unique design on each and every nail that you're going to apply this on. So yeah, once again, there are no rules to nail art in my opinion, and you can just go crazy with all of the colors of your choice of course you can recreate this design if you want to you don't have to use the exact same colors it are just a couple of colors that i really wanted to use and that i felt like look really cute together and i just love my purples and my pinks and i just couldn't wait any longer to actually try out some of the colors from that uncovered six collection I do have swatch videos of all of the collections that I have received by Pink Jellock so far. So if you're curious about that, you can definitely check out my playlist that I made, especially um, like kind of like surrounding Pink Jellock, like reviews, unboxing, swatches, designs, and so on. So you can definitely check that out after you're done watching this video. But to apply all of these colors, I'm just using a dotting tool. Like you can use a toothpick for this as well, or even something like a ball and needle or something like that. You have so many household supplies that you can actually use as um, like nail art tools. So yeah, you don't need like a lot of different tools. You don't have to spend a lot of money either. You can just use whatever you have laying around the house. And of course, always make sure to get rid of any excess gel polish before you're going to cure your design in LED because you don't want to have anything of that gel on your cuticles or the skin surrounding your fingernail. But yeah, next up, everything is cured. You just want to cure it all for 60 seconds because as I mentioned, pink gelock gel polishes have to be cured for a full minute. And after that, I'm just going to apply one of my, uh, I wanted to say Vlinder because Vlinder is Dutch for butterfly. <laughs> but you just want to apply one of those butterfly stickers and just press it gently on the nail. You can like choose to remove the sticky layer on forehand. That is something that I didn't do. I didn't really feel like it would add anything to the design if I would remove the sticky layer after curing. But yeah, just be sure that you don't touch it all too much with your finger. So I just used the back end of my tweezers to just press the butterfly sticker down a bit before I went in with my no wipe top coat. If I'm correct, this is like the ultra gloss top coat or something like that. They do have a regular top coat that still has a sticky layer after curing, but this one is a no wipe one. So you don't have to remove any residue after this has cured, like fully cured for a full minute. So yeah, this was actually already pretty much the design that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm sorry I'm a little bit out of focus and out of frame right here. Once again, I blame the coffee because I just don't do so well on coffee, I feel like at least. I'm more of like, just a give me some water or tea girl. <laughs> but yeah, sorry about that. But here you can see the end result. I really love that butterfly sticker. I think it's really cute. And for the other nails, as I mentioned, I have exactly the same kind of like marble effect on my ring finger nail. And I just applied the pink, the light bluish gray color and the purple to the other nails. Just add a couple of stickers and you're good to go. Add your top coat, of course, to cap it all in. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I really hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think about this design. And as usual, I love you so, so much. And I would love to see you all in one of my next videos.